And up next, we have the confrontation everyone's been waiting for. Sean Carr and Pat Sawyer, former tag team partners and champions. Let's see where this goes. If you remember correctly, Driftwood, this all started when Sean Carr betrayed the sanctity of their friendship and super kicked Pat Sawyer, costing them their tag team titles. It was an easy spot for the Don Green to capitalize and win those titles, and they still hold that today. Yeah, they're actually going to be defending those titles later tonight. Carr grabs the mic. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, let's see where he goes with that. Wow, Jack, have some So everyone wants to know why I kicked Pat Sawyer in the face. I do. right now and won't even look at me. Because you're just that bad. That's okay. I'll tell you what, what I trust to wrestle. I'm in the mood to fight today. So, Pat, if you got any kind of intestinal fortitude, why don't you come on out here and you can confront me face to face? Let's see if Sawyer's got the gall to answer this challenge. Hey, extend the invitation. Will he accept? And he does. Sawyer towering among average men. Looks like he brought a little backup with him tonight, Ryan. I mean, he's not that little. Thank you. Does look mad. Oh, you must do something to me, huh? You want to wrestle me there, big man? Well, I'll tell you what. I don't want to wrestle you tonight. Big surprise, coward. I'll wrestle Dante instead. Oh, he challenges Dante to a fight. Will Dante accept? I mean, I would think so. This is a big opportunity for him here in Northern Tier Wrestling at his first show. To take on Sean Carter. Big sexy Pat Sawyer, and we are in a fraternity. Ooh, fraternity, nothing better than brother. Right and now listen, I love Pat. How much? Because you love cheesecake, that's why, okay? And I'm not going to let any, whoever unknown age you are, man, tell me, you want to fight me and not fight you. So if you want to fight, let's fight you, Sean Carr. Yeah, interesting strategy by Dante, insulting Sean Carr for his love of cheesecake and his age. I, don't, I for one, love cheesecake. I, love cheesecake. I mean, I absolutely love cheesecake. And anyone that does it is even a friend of mine. Maybe that's how Dante stays so fit. You know, maybe that's where we went wrong. He yeah, avoids the cheesecake. Dante just jumping into the ring full of energy. Yeah, he's eager to kick things off here and capitalize on this opportunity he's been granted to Sean Carr. Oh, Sean Carr giving it to the children. They're not even safe from his wrath. Nobody's safe, especially Dante today. I would not want to be Dante inside these ropes today. I mean, these fans are just building the anger in Sean Carr. It might fire back in at Dante. It could. Very well could, Rick. Oh, that's not a good strategy from Dante. Yeah, dancing early here. Like it's a fraternity party. Yeah, my dude, this is a wrestling event. Back to the dancing. Getting the ladies excited, that's for sure. He's letting Sean Carr know that he is ready. Sean Carr easily able to push the collar and elbow tie up into the corner. Yeah, muscles him to the corner, Ryan. Ooh, Sean Carr gives him a little love on the way back. I don't know if that's love so much, Donnie, as it is disrespect. I mean, it, it fired up Dante, that's for sure, either way. Well, Sean uses his eagerness to capitalize with a quick body slam here. Yeah, just muscles him over once again. I think Dante realizes he's going to take a more strategic approach here. Sean Carr, Sean Carr, Sean Carr, Sean Carr. Sean Carr. 
own car is just distracted about the outrage coming from the I mean, what can they, what can they expect to turn their back on and betray their hometown hero last time we were here at the Sarah VFW? Ooh, Dante pushes him against the ropes. Sean Clark comes with the big shoulder block. I mean, he's able to put that strength on display. Dante goes for the trip, trying to show his speed. Will it work? Oh, big drop kick from Dante. Oh, he gives him another one. Where's he going to go from here? Whips Carr into the road. Carr able to hang on. I think he's seen that drop kick coming and comes back with one of his own. Once again, reassuring the crowd he doesn't suck, but they are not believing it. Wow, a little, little un-PG comments coming from the crowd there. He slams Dante once again and fires at the crowd. This is going to turn into a three-way before long if this keeps building. Yeah, if that fan's not careful, Sean's able to hit him with a three. Sean choking the air out of Dante's lungs here. If he gets his five seconds, let him have it. Well within the rules, Ronnie. Sean still distracted by the crowd. Well, Dante takes the opportunity to play her a shot, lower abdomen of Sean Carr, but he does not care. It doesn't even phase him. Sean trying to do a little intimidation tactics on the young referee here. The big Irish whip by Carr destroying the spine of Dante. Yeah, he better hope there's a chiropractor in the fraternity because he's going to need a rub down tonight after that one. Absolutely, Drepper. Ooh, followed up with another one. Maybe he knocked it back into place for him. Save him a little copay. Sean Carr's hoping for one more time, but the crowd isn't. Yeah, I don't think Dante is either, Driftwood. Look at him struggling to find air. Sean keeps kicking the air from his lungs, though. Another Irish whip. Oh, but Dante. Crossbody. Could this do it? Dante not able to get it. Sean Carr taking a moment to get up. He falls back to his side. Dante trying to gather himself. Sean Carr reaching the rope, trying to get up. Not quite there yet. He's going to be the first one to their feet, right? Dante trying to climb the ropes as well. Whoa, Sean Carr's got a knee up to his feet. First one to capitalize. Dante waits, though. Oh, big clothesline by Dante. Oh, and he hands out a second. Dante is just pumped up. He might be trying to put Sean away here. Oh, Sean Carr lets him know the Irish whip is his, though. Oh, Dante out of the way as Sean eats a turnbuckle. Dante rolls through it. Oh, a giant cutter by Dante. Is that the end of Carr? Oh, Carr able to barely get the shoulder up and escape that one. He was lucky, Driftwood. That could have been it. No, Dante really should have hooked both legs there and really drove it into the mat. Rotten. No, it looks like he's got a plan, though. Three point stance backfire. Sean pops him up. Huge power bomb. Flips him through. Oh, he decapitates Dante like an executioner at the guillotine. Where's he going? Drives him to the mat. Could this be it? Is Sean this all she it. wrote? One. Oh. oh, the fat lady has it sung, ladies and gentlemen. Dante still has a little more left in him. I mean, the ref was close on that one. It was almost three. I thought we were looking at a victory. Oh, Sean Carr raising the dead, which is Dante. I'm going to kick your stupid head off. Wow, he's assuring him that his head will be kicked off. Oh, Dante playing possum. Hits him with the schoolboy, not enough. Oh, Sean Carr is quick to grab him, though. Dante able to slip through. You know how greasy those bros are. Oh, giant spear by Dante. Puts him down. Is this it? Sean Carr is relentless. He will not be put down that easy, Ryan. Quit is not a word that Sean Carr knows, Donnie. Dante trying to create a little space. I think he's going to hit the three-point spear. Oh, oh, giant super kick breaks Dante in half. And that's it. 
That's it. Sean Carr puts him away here today, folks. What the way about Dante landing like that, Rotten, is there's no way to kick out. You just can't do it. Look at that smile. He cannot be more happy about kicking down half of the fraternity. Today. I mean, that's just a man who enjoys hurting people. He just enjoys what he does. Look at the arrogance that comes out of Sean Carr's form. Okay, he's looking, he's looking to injure this fella. I think he's looking to end Dante's career before it starts. Oh, wait, what's another. this? What's this? Oh, big sexy Pat Sawyer comes to the save for Dante. Sean Carr quicker than a hiccup, and he's out of here. Sean Carr is not happy about Pat Sawyer interfering in this. I mean, he's just saving his friend here. The match was over, and Sean was just trying to take advantage of the situation. Pat Sawyer checking out his bro. I'm not scared. Oh, yeah, Sean Carr has a little something for us. Let's see. Sean Carr and Crocodile Dundee getting into it in the crowd. Yeah, if he's not lucky, Crocodile D might have a knife. We all want to see it, Sean. Give the fans what they want. Back him up, Rock. Let's see this match. Oh, classic Sean Carr. Just building our hopes up and shooting them down. I, for one, demand we see this match. Reach out to Northern Tier Management at their Facebook page and let them know you want to see it too. I will stay out here all night unless you quiet down. Just let the man speak. Let's hear what he has to say. Oh, what's this? It appears that they hit somebody's music. Northern Tier Management's had enough of Sean Carr tonight. Oh, we have Jason Furious. Where is this going? Well, I've just been informed. It came across our desk moments ago that Furious is going to get a shot at Big Pat Sawyer since Pat Sawyer wasn't able to get in the ring with Sean Carr, and he came all this way, so we might as well let him get a little action in. Furious just full of vinegar. Yeah, he's awfully confident for being stepping in a ring with a man twice his size. This is truly, you know, a David versus Goliath matchup, Ryan. It is. I mean, Furious is showing him quick and early, though, that he's not scared. He's he sizing him up. No, he's a few feet short, but he can size him up. Once again, letting Sawyer know that he is here to fight. Furious telling Sawyer he will 1v1 him. He's not scared. Pumping up the muscles, letting us know. He must work out. He must. Furious just, just full of it, though. He is ready to rock. He didn't come all this way to talk. Stephanie has a little more information for us. Furious <laughs> hoping to take him out alone. This appears to be another competitor in the mix. Oh, who's this? Who do we have coming next? I'm interested to see. Furious demanded the rock to know who it is. Oh, it's Maddox, the young lion of the West. He's a former champion here in Northern Tier Wrestling. He carried the Northern Tier Wrestling heavyweight title for quite some time. Ooh, I think he just called out Furious, letting him know he's here for him. Yeah, there's not much to say about those two. They just hate each other. It's just not a big story. It's just a hate. They're based Jason on hate. Running. Manic. The line quick behind them. They better not forget about Pat Sawyer in there. That could backplay it real quick. 
these guys are going to be explosive when they come head to head inside this ring. Yeah, What's this? We got one more. One more. Let's, let's end. One more? Wow. I'm guessing this is going to be a four way, Ryan. What is happening? I mean, Fury's just as confused as the rest of us here. I think his strategy set out at the door was against Pat Sawyer. He had a plan of attack. Yeah, now he has four guys, or three guys, all which are bigger than him. Any bad? Elijah Cruz? Cody Hate accompanying him to the ring. Cody Hate, he was in our battle royal earlier this evening. Yeah, you know, he put his heart out there, but he was actually the first elimination, but sometimes that's just how it goes. Yeah, I think he was under the impression that we were under the El Yoshi rule of Battle Royale. Yeah, first one out of the ring win. But he was quick to learn when he hit the curtain that that's not how it works here in MCW. I mean, I may not agree with his Battle Royale strategy, but I will agree with his choice of battle here. Arnold Palmer, he's not a fan. Elijah Cruz just basking in the glory, which is the swag. Cruz ready to go here. He's asking the rapid question. Oh, open up the door. No, he's demanding the rapid. I've personally never seen Elijah in action, and it's going to be interesting to finally see it go down tonight. Stay back. Grand, no, no bell yet. He's lucky. He's lucky there's no bell yet. Are you recording? Oh, giant boot that started off from Maddox, followed by the Zinzagari from Elijah Cruz. I think he forgot there's one more man in the ring, though. Pat Sawyer sizing him up. Yeah, what Elijah lacks in size, he makes up for in swag. Grabs a quick waist lock. Sawyer makes quick work with the huge hip toss. Right back on him. Working the wrist. Wasting no time to weaken his opponents. Burke quick to grab a rope. Elijah telling him, do your job, ref. He's hurting my wrist. I mean, the ref was slow to break it there. Elijah gets the upper hand this time. Sawyer able to muscle him to the ropes, though. Shoots him off of the head. Oh, Elijah grabs the rope to save himself. Shoots Sawyer over the top. Maddox looking for a chance to strike. Ducks under. Oh, big atomic drop by Maddox. Step up in Zaguri, a little payback for earlier in the match. Up over the top for Maddox. Oh, but with the reversal on the big forearm, going corner to corner. Eat some turnbuckle. Rip cord lariat for Maddox. Oh, he's going to let us know he can fly, and he does. He lands it. Big flip from Style Maddox. points across the board, ladies and gentlemen. Furious trying to get a piece of the action, and he does. Big Hurricane Rana. Tosses Maddox. He's not done yet. Oh, big wheelbarrow bulldog. Furious takes to the sky. He's Where's just on a tear, Rotten. Oh, but Sawyer just grabs him out of the sky, making quick work of the lightweight, which is Furious. And just ragdolls him back into the ring. Furious, though, still hanging on. Able to capitalize, turns it into a tornado DDT. He's just on a rip right now, Ryan. He's just all oh, big boot to Maddox's face. Oh, he shoves Sawyer back out. Back to the top? What's he doing? Oh my god, he may not, his name may, may not be Dom Rotten, but he sure is fast and furious. I mean, look at the way he's attacking this big truck that is Pat Sawyer. 
Oh, but one, one vicious punch, one left hand from Sawyer puts him down the way. Sawyer trying to gather some energy from the crowd. Oh, big left hand from Sawyer. Just handing him out. And usually he's known for his big boots, but those arms are big too. Just flattening his opponents. Uh-oh, he's setting the sights on Maddox. Sizing him up. Nope, he decides on Elijah. Ooh, giant. Another splash. Third. Follows it up with the fourth. Pulls Elijah off the turnbuckle. Giant hip toss into Maddox, landing Elijah straight on the crown of his head. Furious is in the waiting. Hits the big knee. Furious letting us know it is over. The referee slow on the count though, gives enough time for Sawyer to kick out. Furious is not happy about that. One could say he's furious. Oh, big knee delivered to Jason Tavares by Maddox. Oh, one chop, two chop. Goes right back to the wheelbarrow though. Maddox, Maddox too smart for it this time, puts him down. Fires back with a maneuver of his own and all four men are down. Here comes Elijah Cruz getting to his feet. Ducks Maddox forearm. Oh, he gets him up, spine on the pine. Takes his time to capitalize though. Elijah just feeling it. He should just be feeling that pin though, Rodden. Oh, tells the crowd to go to hell. Standing frog splash hooks the leg. Not enough though. That is two, Elijah. That is in fact two. Now Sawyer is waiting for you. Lucky enough to duck the first one, but the giant claymore to put you down is. Could this good. be it? Matchbook cover. And that's enough to do it, folks. Pat Sawyer walks away with the victory here tonight. Sawyer could not be more happy about getting this win for the fraternity. You know, Dante wasn't able to bring it in, but Sawyer was able to, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be a huge party back in the house tonight. I, for one, am going to be looking for the invite. He's just hoping Sean Carr was able to witness what he just did to the Looks like he wants a piece of Cody Hate, but he doesn't have no business with that. This. Look at Sean Carr snaking his way out. He's like, yeah, we can take him. I think Sean is a little impressed with what Pat Sawyer was able to do here tonight. Oh, signature super kick, but Sawyer was aware of it. Grabs him by the throat. Sean out of here like the slippery snake that he is. Man, what? you can see the ferocity in Sawyer's eyes tonight. He just wants to get his hands on the throat. Sean, Carr. Sean knows how work close he was. To what is Elijah doing? You never poke a bear when he's down. Oh, oh he kills God. him. He just ripped his head and his pants off with shot. that clothesline. Sean, Sean Carr can feel that from the outside, Rodney. He looks worried. He knows at any moment Pat Sawyer can hit him with one of those. Sean Carr making us aware that this is his house and the crowd is fully behind that. Sean may be the king of Ben, but it appears that Pat Sawyer is the king of Sam. Sean Carr letting him know he's coming for him. Hopefully we see this come to a head mark first. Mickey Baker Memorial. Yeah, I for one am anxious to see this match. And once again, fans, reach out to Northern Gear on Facebook and let them know that you too want to see this match. Pat Sawyer just feeling it from the crowd. And after that, Larry, that looks like Elijah needs some help. Ooh, letting match. us know that that has Sean Carr's name all over it. Elijah's still struggling to get out. I'm not sure if he knows where he is. What a match. Let's take a quick moment to look at a few highlights. Ooh, giant kick from Maddox. Look at this spine buster. Beautiful spine on the pine. You know, my favorite was probably the bulldog right here. Great maneuver. 
Wow. Really, what wrapped this match up was the giant, and I mean giant, clothesline from Pat Sawyer to Elijah Cruz to end it.